right of uh, argument over sovereignty on this land, the Ten Embassy has a right and will continue to that right. And the right is to give our people the right for recognition they deserve. We're here. We're here at the uh, Ten Embassy, Sydney, Victoria Park, and um, Darren just gave me some footage about something that happened at the last place the embassy was set up in Sydney Park. But this has been happening for years. I've never been here in year 2000, like, and it was going on so... 2000? Yeah. 2002, come back for uh, Memorial Park. 2004, 2007, yeah. came back for the APEC, and uh, I myself decided to take uh, a bigger role on the fact that the Aboriginal 10 Embassy deserves, uh, well, Sydney deserve a 10 Embassy. At the moment, the intervention bill, the, uh, the, the forceful removal of people of land, forceful removal of children, there's a whole, the whole episode this uh, federal government has actually built up with is now picking as black bashing again. Um, I decide to sit on the ground and act sovereign as I have a right to since the Clover Moore, the local mayor, has put ourselves up there to do. So I'm just mm. doing what she's given us the right to do, that is asserting my sovereignty. Um, the council, they don't seem to really like it very much that uh, that uh, I'm sitting in what they call their park, public space. They don't believe that I have the right to be here, but as it is, it's Aboriginal land, always will and always will be. And as far as I'm concerned, until they can come up with some sort of jurisdictional matter, a letter, mm. something that says that Aboriginal people gave this land up willingly, I'll walk away. So it looks like I'll be here a while, and if yeah. the council want to play the games, so I'm in. If we're going to yeah. do some real healing for this country, we've got to start talking about Aboriginal sovereignty. So what happened in Sydney Park then? Um, okay, Sydney Park was the start of the uh, duration of the 10 Embassy. We packed up here on the 15th after uh, APEC. We went over to uh, Sydney City Park and uh, done a gig there for Earth Dance. Then I took it upon myself to think, that, well, this is a great place to um, basically assert my sovereignty, new park, maybe get a plate put in there. I sat there for three and a half weeks, unhassled. The community people really thought I was okay with it. They were coming in, bringing me food, items and stuff to do. I've been painting and spreading the word of the 10 Embassy. The council walk in there on the Friday at 10 past four and says, I'm going. Mm. And I said, you, and I tried to complain and argue about it, but you wouldn't have it. <clears throat> then at 6.30, at night, maybe seven o'clock, the stormtroopers came in. They came... Excuse me. Mm -hmm. You've taken you've taken photos of the ten embassy, haven't you? Yeah, I'm just yeah. filming Darren. Ten, can... yeah. That's right. I'm just filming Darren. I touch me. I'll no, put you up for assault. All right. Well, I'm just filming Darren. You won't be doing that. I'm just filming Darren. You don't need to, mate. They came in with rangers. There was about eight cars. They came in, circled the whole camp. They basically said that the removal of all the stuff was going to happen regardless of whether I liked it or not. They said I could stay, but the tents and the uh, property of the tent embassy were going. Mm. So as stormtroopers do, they came in, they used their powers to be Commonwealth, Federal, State, I don't know mm. what it is. They all used these powers, came in and ripped me off, took all my stuff. They basically kicked Aboriginal people off Aboriginal land. They said that you know, I had no right to be there. <clears throat> and everything that um, that I was doing was illegal and, and mm. unjustified under state law. Yeah. So they pulled me out and then I came back. Oh, well, they ripped me up mm. and I decided, well, hell, I can only go back to the only place that mm. I've been legally recognised to be in and I'm, I'm here as a permanent yeah. set up here. Which is a good place because, you know, so please pipe was out of the way. But as mm. far as I'm concerned, Australia, from one end to the other, is sovereign land. It yeah. belongs to the Aboriginal people. And it don't matter if it's been recognised in one part, Every park in the Eora Nation, as far as I'm concerned, is sovereign land. Every every inch of the road is sovereign land, and from one end of the country to the other is sovereign land. And if Aboriginal people stand up, and they stand up and, and assert what they actually have by birthright, there's mm. nothing you can lose. You can't lose this game. The council have nothing. And if they do have something, they're going to court. <laughs> I 
set up here, I decided to set up a, um, an information stand, which is done in the middle of Newtown, there's a I Have a Dream Park. Mm -hmm. I set up on the first day, uh, it was a good day, I went down there, everyone was pretty happy about it. I come, came back, tents and everything were fine, I slept that night, kids came in, the Miss Porker Network came in again, took me up to Newtown uh, between 12 and 5 o'clock, the council had came in while I wasn't here, they took everything. They just all they left was one can of beans with a fork in it, and uh, <laughs> I thought that was pretty funny. Jesus. You know, but uh, I, I had I rang the police. I asked them to come and you know work it all out. Mm -hmm. They told me under the jurisdiction of the council they haven't broken any law. Blah blah blah. So they said ring them up at nine o'clock and demand your gear back. So I did it. I rang up at nine o'clock and asked Greg Greg McCarthy, I believe his name is, is the manager of the city city council. He basically, um, he said his, my gear was there, and he wasn't, it was actually picked it up on, they came in on Thursday, took it, and told me he would release it on the Monday. Well, I was a little bit tired of that, I had one pair of shorts and a t-shirt on, he took everything, clothes, bags, beds, you name it, tents, everything. Mm. I had one can of beans and a fork. Parked up the road, they come around the corner and there was nothing, not a thing, they all gone. Mm -hmm. So I rang Greg, I said, Where's my gear? And he said, It's down here. And so this was on the Friday, I rang him and he says, I'm not releasing it till Monday. Oh, sorry, I rang him on Thursday mm -hmm. and he said, It's not releasing it till Monday. So I went and saw a lawyer. I basically, the lawyer went and passed with Greg. Greg sort of like must have been persuaded one way or another because then he released my gear yesterday on the Friday. Mm. I went down, I picked it up and I again, as you can see, we've got a gathering here, the Aboriginal Ten Embassy is inviting everyone down for the gathering, it's the Welcome to Country gathering, it'll be on the 1st of November, it's, uh, we've got various acts, various speakers, yeah, and uh, various, uh, various things going on, it'll be 5.30 in the afternoon, we'll have food not bombs coming, I'll be feeding everyone, um, and uh, it'll be entertaining all night. Awesome. Even you, Pete, Yeah, I'll be in the area for sure. And it's going to be continuing. I mean, if you're watching this on YouTube after the 1st of November, come down and say hello. Yeah, definitely. Just so, right. you know, always was, always will be Aboriginal. And, you know, it's cool. until someone can prove the right of, uh, the right of uh, argument over sovereignty on this land, the Ten Embassy has a right and will continue that right. And the right is to give our people the right for recognition they deserve.